It's not because of what some horoscope said. I am blessed because of what the word said. I must have some Leos in there. Because it got way too quiet then. I must have some Geminis in here. I'm the bull. What you? I'm a lion. I'm a twin. Why don't you try being saved? That's what's work. All the rest of that goes in the trash can. The biggest problem with most of you, you too superstitious. If God say you blessed today, a thousand cats can run in front of your car. It will not change what God said. Don't cross your windows. Don't put an X on them. This is not superstition. Notice Romans 5 and 5. I got Bible to back me up. Notice what Paul said. Now hope does not what? Now hope does not what? Now hope does not what? It doesn't what? See, when you have the God kind of faith, there's no way you'll end up disappointed. Ooh, I hear you. Well, Pastor, why are we so busted? Why are we so disgusted? Why are we so down and out? Because you operating in wishful thinking. This is what they were doing. They were hoping he got up. They were wishing he got up. But why didn't they just believe the report from the women that said he did get up? He is alive. But they couldn't receive it. Let me tell you something. This is something real good you got to understand about being in the church. God has ordained for you and I to get excited about the testimony of other people. See, let, let me tell you something. When you waiting on God to do something for you and it hadn't manifested, but one of your sisters get up in church and tells a story that God just did it for her, don't you know you bitter, sour-looking, lemon face? You ought to get up and praise God because that's a sign that he getting ready to do it for you, the fact that he did it for her. Watch. Back in the old church, folk testified. People got excited. They started shouting. Now they folk testify. Folk whispering. Wonder what he do on the side. They say all he do is pastor. How you pastor and drive a Porsche? Because that's what he wanted. Tell your neighbor that's what he asked God for. Boy, y'all didn't get excited about what? Listen, I'll never get jealous of what God blesses somebody else with. Because there's a million more out there just like it. Listen, we in a season a better. God is doing better things. Listen, when it comes to families, God is moving for families. When it comes to singles, God is moving for single folk. God ain't showing up talking about, I got a blessing if you're married, but if you ain't married, I ain't. no, God showing up saying, I got a blessing for anybody that'll believe. I got, a, I got a miracle right here. I'm looking for a believer. They had no business being sad. Why? They had received the report from the women who went to the tomb, spoke with an angel. This does it tell you how stubborn some folk is. They said an angel told them, who you seeking? You seek the, the living amongst the dead. That's what the angel said. When, when, when they showed up to put the spices on him. If I was there, I would have told if y'all really believe, why you bringing spices for a body that ain't here? (laughs) 
They said, the angel said to us, Jesus is alive. Watch, but it did not change their disposition. See, this is how some of you are. God can have folks say certain things in your midst so you'll hear it. So you'll get excited. So you'll stop being depressed. He'll, you'll be depressed over a doctor's report and God will have somebody get up and say, two years ago, God healed me of cancer when doctors gave up. And then God will look at you and say, are you going to change? Did that testimony do something for you? And some of us are sitting there like this. She must have had a real cancer. Because they ain't got no cure for that real cancer. She must have been in stage two. She wasn't in no stage five, I guess. Heard the testimony. They did not believe the resurrection report. Can I drop one on the church? Too many of you will believe a sad report or a bad report, but find it hard believing a good report. How many folk do you know that they quickly receive a bad report? You can call them and tell them, say, hey, so-and-so and them just got in a bad wreck. Now watch this. They ain't at the accident site. But what they gonna do? They gonna pick their phone up. <sighs> what you doing? You better sit down. You sitting down. Girl, I got some news. Cut the peas off, cause you gonna you gonna wanna hit it. The other person be like, what is going on? Child, they tell me just then. So and so knows that a bad wreck. Say bone broken up and this, that, and other. The car done flipped seven times and ran into it. One of the cars on, on fire. They say a helicopter is coming. They ain't, oh, they, 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 uh, some of them died. They got to be somebody. You had saw nothing. But you receive it in totality and become a messenger of bad news. I'm coming your way. Some of you will believe you sick, but you won't believe you healed. You'll believe an x-ray that you don't even understand and will leave a doctor's office talking about you got a disease you can't even spell. And will take pills that you don't even know what they is. Because you receive a negative report and operate it right in it. We're feeling good in your body until you went and seen Doc so and so. And he says, according to this, you should be feeling some discomfort in your lower vertebrae. You know how they talk looking all silly and crazy. Won't even look at you half the time they speak. <laughs> what has happened is that your lower discs have actually slipped beyond the medium. And this causes heavy pains upon the joints. And you have another doc saying, no, don't think he's doing. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Came in and watched this because I'm not playing came in feeling good we'll leave out of there confessing what they said I do I do feel something y'all think it's a joke why you think they have so many commercials trying to identify sickness because they know somewhere out there is some fool ready to receive a bad report. Do you have migraines? Do your head constantly hurt? Are you? Well, you need to call the law officers and such and such and such. And such. You could be entitled to a conversation. 
receive it all day. It will allow somebody to tell you what you can and cannot afford. You all can't afford a car like this. But you're up. <laughs> See what the devil called good news is bad news. But you're up. We got something just for you. Something was just turned in today. But I was believing for a new car. You can't, you can't have no new car because of your credit and your history. Remember we went over that. You remember that? And I'm trying to help you now. Do you want help? Yeah, I want, I want you to help me. We're going to get you in something. Okay? You want to get in something, don't you? Yeah, I want to get in something. You want to drive away from here today? They come on and tell you, this is, this is for you right here. This is what you, that's a bad report. I don't want that. I don't like that color. It ain't got what I want. But receive it. But when it come to good news, we want proof. I tell you it's your Caesar. Show me, Pastor. The Lord going to do this, that, and other for you, sir. I believe it when I see it. I'm going to tell you, and then some of you, when good do start happening, you say stuff right out of your mouth like, this ain't going to last. I know it ain't. It just, it all happened. It ain't going to work out. Don't nothing good happen for me. Somebody call you and say, you want something? Not me. You lying. I ain't want that. <laughs> These men rejected good news and were sad because of it. Don't miss that. They hidden sitting here walking, sad, gloomy, and depressed. Watch, because they rejected knowledge. Knowledge came saying he was alive. A report came saying Jesus is alive. They should have been shouting, but they found it difficult to receive good news. Now watch how Jesus dealt with it, because he dealt with it how I'm going to deal with it. In verse 25, then he said to them, Watch this, because this strong language. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, when you reject knowledge, yeah. you're a fool. You're a fool. <laughs> when you reject knowledge, you're a fool. Yeah. 